parents need to be aware that there are tremendous possibilities with technology, but there are also dangers. And the dangers look different at different stages of development. One thing that parents should look out for is how these technologies are designed. Dark patterns are really any design feature that um, pulls your child in and co-ops their attention because the whole purpose of these platforms and these technologies is to keep us on them. Uh, that's how companies make their money. And dark patterns are things like virtual rewards or characters in games that cry if you leave the game, things like autoplay, just the simple autoplay where you're advancing automatically from one video to the other, that can make transition time extremely difficult for families. So looking out for those dark patterns I think is important and thinking about where your child is developmentally. Are they, are they working on their self-regulation skills? Are they working on their identity development? and really thinking, is this technology experience supporting that development? Is it self-directed? Is it community supported? Those are the questions to be asking at each stage of development. Even the cartoons and things that are on TV um, or on YouTube or you know various social media platforms, um, as well as video games, they're so overstimulating. They're so and they're on autoplay and they're just constant. You know, you're just constantly getting bombarded with colors and noise and all this in my mind, a little bit of confusion. And I wonder what is that doing to a developing young brain? For little children, especially one of the key skills that they need to develop is to figure out how to regulate their behavior and their emotions. Mm -hmm. And if they're given a device every time they get a little bit cranky, they don't learn how to regulate their own emotions. They learn that a screen is gonna regulate their emotions for them. And, and the screen becomes what calms them down. It becomes the pacifier. There are repercussions. I mean, a delay in language development, uh, as you said, regulation of their temper and, you know, I mean, there's a slew of things. Oh, right? absolutely. So it's, if you have difficulty developing self-regulation as a small child, there can be downstream effects on academic success, relationship success, even, I mean, there's research showing your earning potential is affected. Um, so really these skills of, they call, they're called executive function skills, they are so important for young children to develop and continue to develop. So it's not just young people, young children, but um, you know, around two, three, four, that's a sensitive period for the development of self-regulation skills. And that's also a period when kids can get very fussy and it's just so easy to sit them in front of a TV or give them a phone. Um, and a, a, some of that is fine, but as much as possible, parents should just come up with a number of strategies to deal with those tricky situations.